Hi, I'm Sarah Burnett, and I'm a political reporter for the Associated Press based in Chicago. Voters in Ohio on Tuesday overwhelmingly defeated this ballot measure that would have made it tougher in November to put abortion rights into the state constitution. So it became a kind of proxy for the November battle over whether or not abortion should be enshrined as legal procedure in the state of Ohio. So Ohio is one of about half the states in the United States where citizens can take issues directly to voters and let them decide. It bypasses the legislature. In this case, Republicans control the legislature. They wanted on Tuesday to raise the thresholds to 60% instead of a simple majority for a ballot measure to pass. The turnout was very high, record turnout for a summer election. And we saw that in democratic cities like Columbus and Cleveland. But we also know now that the support for this measure, even in Republican places, Republican counties that supported Donald Trump for president in 2020, there was more support for voting down this measure than there was for Donald Trump in 2020. Democrats see it as validation that the abortion issue is not going away and that it will continue to motivate voters all over the country, not just in liberal states or in liberal cities. They think that they can use this in 2024, when the country elects a new president and we elect new Congress, that abortion will once again be a powerful motivator. And it isn't just in liberal places. It's in places like Ohio that are run by Republicans.